Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, in today's video, I want to discuss why I personally believe that you should probably quit driving for Uber right now. I'm very, very strongly opinionated on this. And this is mainly a warning message to anybody out there who's doing Uber to make extra money or Lyft for that matter to highly um, consider what I'm about to tell you. And I do think there are a few um, cases where driving rideshare is a good idea, but for the most part, this, you know, is a video where you should really consider yourself and consider the things I'm about to say, and I, I am going to be speaking from experience. Um, before I jump in, if you are interested in making extra money, there is an incredible, incredible opportunity to do so right here on YouTube by creating a faceless YouTube channel. This is something that I've been doing for over five years. As you can see, this is one of my YouTube channels. So far this year, I've made over $10,000 per month. If you just go to last year, I made over $10,000 per month. So doing faceless YouTube channels is, is really uh, a way that created financial freedom for me. It was how I was able to buy this house, get out of debt, pay off my credit cards, pay off my car, and really just, you know, do a complete 180. So if you want to learn how to create your own faceless YouTube channel, you don't need experience, you don't need a following, you don't need, uh, obviously, to show your face. I have a link below. When you click the link, it will show a, and sign up, it'll show a tutorial video on how to set one up, and you can join a group chat where I will actually help you start your own faceless channel and start making money. Um, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's more of like a long-term plan to start making passive income over time. So join that link below. There's a 30-day free trial right now, so you don't have to... So you can try it out and cancel at any time. Okay, so let's get into the reasons why I think you should quit Uber. Number one, there's no pay increases. The longer you drive, or the longer you work at a job, typically, you get a pay increase. You put in your time, you show that you're a good worker, you get more money. With Uber and Lyft, no. And some people even argue that the more you work, the less they pay you because they want to reward the newer drivers who are unaware of these issues. Number two, you are paying to, to work. You are accruing a lot of uh, expenses and Uber and Lyft, they are offloading a lot of expenses to the drivers. What do I mean by that? Car expenses is number one. When you drive, the only cost is not gas. There's two main other costs that go into operating a vehicle. So there's three mainly. Gas, that's a given. Obviously, we pay for that almost daily. Number two is vehicle maintenance. When you're driving Uber, the, pri the cost of maintenance goes up like crazy because... You know, cars, when you drive a car 10 to 15,000 miles a year, sure, you know, you're going to have to get an oil change, replace tires every couple years. Um, something might happen where you get a leak, you got to do this, do, do that, but it's extended over a period of years. When you're driving rideshare, you got to do all that. You know, you're getting leaks, you're getting transmission goes out, you got timing belt, like, I'm not even a car guy, but the more you drive, the more maintenance you gotta, you know, you gotta pay to fix your car. Um, and not only that, is car depreciation is the next one. And a lot of drivers, they just get a new car or they get a newish car. They take out a huge loan and they go, oh, I'll pay it off driving Uber. No, you won't. You will not pay off your loan driving Uber. I've tried it before on a $5,000 car and still I wasn't making enough profit to do it because I had you know, you have other expenses. That's why you're working. <laughs> Unless you have, like, another job and you, and you already have a car loan. But I wouldn't go get a car loan to do Uber. Uh, number three, it is a never-endless trap. Yeah, 
this one for me really hits home because again I was trying to pay off debt and driving Lyft just it just doesn't work because you're paying so much money <laughs> to drive that at the end of the day however much money you earn you're paying in any little car expense I remember one time I got a, a, tra a traffic ticket it was a red light camera ticket. It was like 500 bucks. And it, that, though, that went all my profit for like two weeks. One time I got a, uh, I had to replace a tire. That was 200 bucks um, or 150 bucks, whatever it was. And it's like, boom, that, that goes all your profit for like a few days, whatever. Um, so just, yeah. Uh, the next one is costs of car go up while pay does not. <laughs> I took some notes here. Yeah, exactly. The cost of owning a car and buying a car is in working on a car. Think about going to a mechanic now, an auto uh, mechanic shop. When they charge you now for labor, their labor prices have gone up over the past few years because of inflation and everything. And wages have gone up. So it, it costs more to maintain your car to buy a car, but Uber is not paying drivers more. Number five, it's not truly flexible. If you want to make a living doing Uber, you this will not be a flexible job. You're going to be working almost every day, eight hours a day, and you will not have energy to do anything else. Which brings me into my next point. It is a tiring job. Have you ever done a road trip for 10, 12 hours, and after you get to your destination, you're just like, I just want to take a nap. I just want to sleep. But did you really burn many calories driving? No, you just sat there like this. And you're resting your arms on the wheels. It's a tiring job. You get a lot of brain fog. I noticed mentally it was very tiring for me. It's just bad. And which also brings me into my next point. It's dangerous. A lot of people fall asleep while they drive. I actually believe drowsy driving is the number one cause of accident now um, more than even drunk driving people falling asleep behind the wheel because they're too tired and you know what's causing that a lot of times are the phones because there's blue light fil um, in your phones and so when you look at a phone at night especially if you, most people they they're on their phones at night they watch TV at night they're not getting proper sleep if I had to guess you probably watched in this video you did probably not get a proper eight hours of sleep last night. You probably did not sleep enough last night. Well, when you do that, when you when you combine that, multiply that by million, millions of all the people out there who didn't sleep well last night, people crash. People crash into each other. People are also texting and driving. You look, you go to, next time you're at a stoplight, look over in the other car, see how many people are texting. Do you trust those people with your life? That random teenager who's taking tick, making TikToks while he's driving? You're trusting him with your life by just by sharing the road with him. I mean, it's insane. Texting and driving should be a like a misdemeanor at this point because you know you're you're responsible for somebody else's life if you hit them. So driving and driving, the more you drive, the more statistically you are at risk of getting to an accident and potentially dying or getting severely injured. So just keep those in mind. Um, the, and the last thing is that I think you should quit Uber because there's better opportunities out there. There's so many better opportunities out there. And that's what I learned when I started my faceless YouTube channel. I learned that you could very, I started making more money in a day on YouTube than I would a whole week driving Uber and I could just do it sitting in my room on my computer for a few hours. Again, I mean, some of these numbers are crazy. This is this year so far. I've had, I think even on this day, what did I make on this day? $2,700 in a single day on Faceless YouTube channel. Some of these days are over a thousand. Some of these lower days are what? about 1300 on this lower day so if you want to learn how to do this guys click the link below and I'll show you how this is not a pitch for my you know program or anything but 
I just wanted to also warn you guys about how driving Uber, it's, you know, it, it's a dead end job. <laughs> it really is. So there's a 30 day free trial right now when you sign up for my program and I will teach you how to set up a faceless YouTube channel. And there's a group chat in there as well that you can learn from each other and I'll help you get monetized. I'll guide you and everything. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.